Okay, so this next building has been referred to as the Cook House. And if we walk into the door, you'll see why. So as you can see, we have three really old stoves here. Though from what I have observed, this might have been the building where the staff accommodations were. As we um, explore the building, you'll see why. This may also be the building where the classroom was, though I unfortunately I have not been able to find the blackboard as per some of the other photos people have taken. Also from what I've heard and read about Wai Kuni Prison here, it was used as a POW camp, a prisoner of war camp during the Second World War to house or detain Japanese soldiers and it is possible though I have not been able to confirm it that some of those POWs may also be buried on the site somewhere even though it's been 30 years as you can see the bathtub and for it are still in, mostly intact, so which suggests that the vandals haven't gotten to them yet, which is good. So, as uh, parts of the site are uh, pretty much as they were left. Also, from what I understand, there is a boiler room and tunnel network somewhere on site. Though, unfortunately, I haven't been able to locate them yet. So that may come out in another video later on of all the hidden treasures and secrets of Waikuni Prison. Now yeah, we'll just head over to the church. And from what I've been told, this building may also be haunted by the spirit of a elderly gentleman, as there has been one or two reports of a elderly man been seen within or on the porch area of the front doorstep. Also this building is the most intact building that I can see on the site. sure how this got here but this is our old Toyota sewing or knitting machine. Or 
so you as you can see it uh, the cross has not been touched. And that, for the most part, concludes the tour of Waikuni Prison. If you like the video, please be sure to subscribe to my channel so you can catch up on the latest from New Zealand.